Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, come and take a ride on Bobby the bus. Oh, excuse me, tooted Bobby. Oh, that doesn't sound too good, said Mr. Perkins. I'm fine, tooted Bobby, and he rushed off to pick up the school children. Bobby started to feel a strange tingle in his tummy. Excuse me, tooted Bobby. Did you hear something? Said Billy. Someone's blowing off, said Millie. Oh no, tooted Bobby. Bobby, are you all right? Peeped his friend Bessie. I'm fine. Oh, excuse me, he tooted. He are not as energetic today. What's wrong? Said Mr. Perkins. I'm all right. I'm fine, tooted Bobby. What's the matter, Bobby? said the children. You sound terrible. You should be at home, said Sam. You need to rest, said Sarah. Oh, dear, oh dear, what can the matter be? tuttered Mr. Perkins. There's nothing wrong with me, tooted Bobby, and he scurried off down the road. What's that noise? said Percy. I think you're sick, said Alice Bunbury. You can't keep going, you sound terrible. But I've got to keep going. Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, no, look at what you've done, shouted Percy. But Bobby couldn't hear him. You can't carry on, Bobby, peeped his friend Bessie. Why don't you go home and rest? I've got to keep going. Who else can do my work? I'm fine, he tooted pathetically. Oh, what's happened? I can't see. Oh, look out, Bessie! Oh, I'm so sorry, peeped Bessie. I've got to follow Bobby. He's not well, needs my help. Awful, tooted Bobby, and he came to a complete stop. It's time I got you back to the depot, said Mr. Perkins. <gasps> but what about Tommy Thompson's parcel? And who'll pick up the children after school? tooted Bobby anxiously. There's no way you can do any more, said Mr. Perkins. I'll help, peeped his friend Bessie. Mr. Perkins gave her Tommy's parcel, and then they drove back to the depot. <laughs> Are you all right, Bobby? beeped his mum. Oh, you sound awful, hooted his dad. I don't feel very well, tooted Bobby. Oh, well, you need the mechanic, bugled Albion. Let's see what the trouble is, said Mr. Perkins. Oh, dear, oh, dear, he said. Oh, my, muttered the mechanic. What is it? What's the problem? tooted Bobby. Is he going to be all right? beeped Bobby's mum. The mechanic wiggled a wire and muttered. He squeezed Bobby's hose. Ow! Oh, sorry, said the mechanic. OK, I want to listen to you, so start up, please. Right. Mm. Well, that could be... Yeah, yeah it could be the air hose, but... Uh, well, we'll take a look. Mm. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 that doesn't sound good. The mechanic will have you better in no time, said Mr. Perkins. Now, I want you to be a brave little boss, said the mechanic. You've ruptured an air hose, so I have to go in to remove it. Poor Bobby, beeped his mum sympathetically. Bobby had to keep perfectly still while the mechanic worked on his engine. Wrench, <coughs> screwdriver, clamp, <coughs> hose. Oh, just a little bit longer. You're doing very well, Bobby, he said. There. You're all fixed. Now, you'll have to take it easy for a day or two. Thank you, tooted Bobby. I'm feeling much better already. Later that day, after Bobby had rested, his mum couldn't believe how well he looked. Oh, it's lucky you didn't do some permanent damage, bugled Albion. I'm as good as new, tooted Bobby. I could race to the top of Mornington Mountain. <laughs> oh, maybe not today, tooted Bobby, as he headed off to pick up the children from Mornington School. Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, 
Come and take a ride on Bobby the bus. Bobby the bus. Bobby the bus. There's room enough for all of us on Bobby the bus. No matter the weather, we'll all ride together. Each day is a surprise. It'll open up your eyes. Bobby the bus. Bobby the bus. Come and take a ride on Bobby the bus.